Hi everybody, welcome to my vlog. I'm Karen. This is Karen So Slowly. Uh, welcome back. I'll look at the camera. Welcome uh, back. And if you're new here, hi. Um, hope you like what you see. Please give me a like. It helps with the um, the numbers, the algorithms. Oh yeah, I say that every time. Don't know why I say it. Don't know what it means, but it helps apparently. Get my channel out there. I've got quite a lot to cover, so you might want to grab yourself some snacks and a cuppa to keep you going. I wish I'd grab myself something, to be honest. I know I'm going to get dry. I'll probably have to stop and go get myself a drink. Um, of course, this is the long-awaited Gold Hawk Road haul. I had a fabulous few hours on the Gold Hawk Road. To be honest, I could have done with a full day or possibly two days. Once I started shopping, I spent all in the same shop just because they were lovely and I'll talk more about that later. I've got a little promotional thing to do for a fabulous um, company that got in touch with me. I have sewn this. Now I sewed this before I went to my sister's. I cut this t-shirt out and uh, I also cut another outfit out. So before I go any further, I'll tell you what this is. Um, in one of my last vlogs, I don't know if it was the last one or the one before. I'm, we I'm wearing a blue top in this design. And it's the Athena top by Tasuti Patterns. And it's in a double pale blue double gauze. And it's huge. It, it, I mean, it's meant to be oversized. But, you know, it doesn't look that oversized on here. But the size is telly on the back. So I think I did the medium the last time. And the width of the bust is 54 inches. And that's the finished garment measurements. That'll tell you how massive it was. So I think I took at least two inches off the sides. And made this a little bit neater. This material came from Pound Fabrics. I only got it a few few weeks ago. Um, so this is, it's skimming me hips. Which are a bit larger than normal at the minute. All I did was... This has, if I can show you on the line drawing, yeah, it has a seam. So the, the sleeves were longer as well on this top that I made in the double cores because I put this end bit on and it sort of bugs me because I can pull them up, but it's the slide back down and I don't like a long sleeve. They're not quite a long to the wrist sleeve, they're three quarter length, but I just like to be able to pull my sleeves up or have them this length. And so I just, I didn't put that bit on, which made it an even easier sew. And I've never actually noticed that bit, but I've never done that bit. I think I'm missing it. <laughs> don't think I've done it on the other top either. But I don't have a band along the bottom. I don't know if that's just to show you. It'll be down like the, the, the back that hangs further down. No, I don't know what that is. But anyway... I've never put that on either top, so there you go. So you see her sleeve there comes about three quarter length and mine finishes at the elbow, which is perfect for me. So, um, yeah, I, I took a little bit off here as well. Um, it's still got plenty of room in the bust and it's still a nice sort of length. If I can step back, I've just got on with some scruffy leggings today there. Um, so it was just to get another, to be honest, I haven't got many just plain t-shirts, just hang around, stick with jeans, you know, that sort of t-shirt. I've got t-shirts I wear, like long sleeve sort of, like nana vests, I call them, t-shirts I wear underneath jumpers and fleeces to walk the dogs, but I don't have, um, other than the ones I've made, actually, the Tabitha t-shirts I've made. So... I'm making a lot of t-shirts at the minute and obviously summer's coming you wouldn't think it it was beautiful a second ago which is why I decided to vlog because the sun was coming in and the light was fabulous and I noticed we've got grey clouds now this weather is so depressing you know lucky souls who live in places like Florida and America and Australia and everywhere that's you know got beautiful weather um but yeah, our summer so far has been pants. Not to go on about the weather, because everybody does. It's, it's what we talk about in the UK, because... Oh. Anyway, so um, I'm going to... Uh, I'll show you what I've cut out, actually. When I cut this top out, I cut a, 
an outfit out and it's this is the sleeve and it's in that lovely oh, modal jersey it's called that I got this is going to be more um, an outfit I think I wear probably towards the autumn um, the autumn time and I've cut the top and the skirt out so I think it will just grab the pan it will look like a dress but it won't be a dress so I could wear the t-shirt with the trousers so it's simplicity 9226 and that's the that's the version I've cut out but without the sort of the crew neck I've cut it just with the round neck um I don't want to be a, a, quite like a, a, a loose sort of crew neck like on the um the, the Frida top I want to say from Tilly and the Buttons um yeah quite like that t-shirt I've got with the crew neck on but yeah I didn't know about this one with it being in the model I thought it might be quite sweaty <laughs> anyway because it's quite like nylon-y and thick so um yeah so that's that's cut out and ready to go don't know if I'll get that sewn up this week because we're off to sea houses on Monday it's currently Saturday I'm hoping to get this uploaded today to come out on Sunday night or possibly Monday morning I'll, I'll time it and I've got loads of things to add in loads of, of links and stuff like that which takes me forever and of course uh, lots of footage from the Gold Hawk Road is to come as well well a little bit anyway so where was it yeah I'm going to do first of all I'm going to do my promotion um I was contacted by a, a, a lady called Ember who was wanting to know if I would like to do a collaboration I do say no to quite a bit just because I don't feel I can commit with having the chemo and and stuff like that which is another reason I've got these red cheeks it's not that I've been doing sport <laughs> Because I haven't. This is just chemo cheeks uh, as I had chemo on Thursday. So, um, yeah, I don't like to commit to doing to doing things um, if I think I'm not going to get time to do them. But because I've had a reduction in my chemo and I've been feeling a lot better lately with the chemo. Um, and this, this one came up. And if you know anything about me, I don't like making bags. Everybody's making bags at the minute and... They look great and they look fabulous, but I love buying handbags. And so this lady from Teddy Blake, who I'd never heard of, but now it's everywhere. Now, I, now I've heard of them. I've heard of them, if you know what I mean. So I, she said, would you like to go on the website and choose one of our bags? Choose anything you want. Um, and... I thought, oh, I'll have a, I'll have a look. I'm very particular about my handbags. I really am. Um, but now I don't work. All I need is a little crossbody bag or a little going out bag for the very occasional times I do go out out. But the website is phenomenal. It's they have so many designs. Um, they have the same bag but in different sizes so if you like a bigger bag like I would have picked a bigger bag if I was still going to work you know to get your sandwiches in <laughs> um, although I wouldn't have put them in a Teddy Blake bag to be honest uh, they're too lovely they're Italian designers it's Italian leather they change the designs every month so you go on there there's always fantastic reductions on them as well um, they are on the expensive side but if anybody's got a birthday or a special birthday coming up and and you want to have a look on there i do advise keep looking keep going on because like I say the designs do change they're um they're designed by people with years of experience of bag you know construction and experienced craftsmen make them up and i couldn't believe the quality of this bag when it arrived I've never really owned a bag so nice. Um, I, like I say, I'm fussy with my bags, but I think the most expensive I've ever paid for a bag in the past is about 40 quid. And even then I might be pushing it. It's normally around the 20 pound mark, to be honest. Um, I don't even buy the expensive ones in M&S, but um, this, this is how it came anyway. Gorgeous, gorgeous big box, which I will be using to 
store things in in um, my sewing room definitely um, like I say I only I only got a little a little bag but this I mean oh I never even read that when I opened it designer handbags made in Italy luxury leather each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. <laughs> fashion choice, yeah. Um, so, comes in a dust bag, because apparently if you have a posh bag, you have to keep it in a dust bag. Instead of just chuck it in the bottom of the wardrobe like I do. Right, put that down there. There we go. And this is the bag I chose. Uh, and like I say, it's only little, it's only little, but it is a going out out bag. There we are. Isn't that beautiful? So it's like the croc. I don't know whether it's, I think it's made to look like croc. I don't think it is croc, but I just like the, the, the colour of it. Um, I'm sure you can get this in other colours as well. They had multitude, they had a cream one. Which would have been great for the summer, but um, yeah, I liked the brown. I thought I'd get more use out of the brown. I think brown would cover summer and winter as well if I went out. So um, it's got, they've all got these lovely clasps on. So you can fasten it right over if, you know, if you wanted it tightly fastened off, you've got a bit of stuff in it. But there is enough room in there. I mean, you can see the quality of the leather in there. And even the zip, even the zip pocket, isn't that beautiful? It's like, it's just so, it's just done so nicely. And it's got that lovely leather smell, obviously. Um, but you can see the lovely leather inside. Um, oh, please don't let anything leak or spoil the inside of the bag. I'm tempted to make a little sort of slip purse to go inside just to protect the leather inside. But... And I thought this is a great going out loud bag. It sits on my shoulder perfectly. So I've got hands free for drinks and snacks and things if I'm out and about. Um, yeah. And of course it's got the uh, the Teddy Blake name on. This arrived before I went to London and um, I had to tell Ember when it arrived. It arrived fairly quickly considering it was coming all the way from... New York I think it comes from. I was really really pleased with that and pleased that it's a collaboration I can totally get behind because I can make use of that. Yeah so there we go that's the one I picked um, and I love it. I really really love it and I'm going to put it back in its dust pouch and probably back in its box till I find I've just had a massive clear out of handbags as well. I threw about 15, 15 away. Well, I didn't throw them out. I gave them to the charity shop. But there's some of them I used a few times for work and I just didn't like. Um, some have been used to bits. So I have just had a clear out. So there is space for that to go in my wardrobe now. Um, I'll put all the links below for, for Teddy Blake website and everything like that. But I couldn't be happier. Quality is absolutely fantastic, like you saw. Right, so I've done that. I've done that. Um, and I want to say, before I start on the Gold Hawk Road, I want to do a very quick thank you to Linda Parker, one of my subscribers. God love her. She... Um, sent me a message via the Facebook group, Karen So Slowly, and said she had a Tissuti fabric pattern for the Verona jacket, did I want it? And I was like, oh my goodness. I went on, had a look at it and went, yes, yes. Um, I think she thought it would be good for the, the boiled wool, which it totally would be. And I intend making one out of the boiled wool. I thought I might make this one out of that lovely pink bubbly material that I got that I wanted to make sort of like a Chanel jacket out of but um, I might twirl it out of the pink and then make it out of the boiled wool just in case I make a Karenism which you know is always likely but that's it there I don't know whether that's going to come up very well with the 
has been in the dark colour. Um, I'm, I'm gathering it'll be oversized because it's another Tissuti pattern. So, like this top, um, it's another Tissuti one. So that's the line drawing there. Um, not sure what's on the end of the collar. I don't know if there are tucks underneath or tucks on the collar because I, I can't even see that on the... No, they're not on the collar and they don't appear. I don't know what they are. Because even on the picture on the front, you, you don't have... And I don't think that there isn't any buttons, so it's an edge to edge, so that's good. So I don't have to worry about ruining things with buttonholes. So there we go. So I said, please, at least let me give you the postage. She said, well, I just live round the corner. <laughs> so there's somebody else who lives just round the corner from me. Um, and I was hoping she was going to be able to stop for a coffee, but her husband had given her a lift and he was keen to get away. So um, we have said we will meet up for a coffee in the future. So that's great because I've, um, well, I'm going to take her for a coffee, actually. Because I've got to say thank you for that pattern. That was really, really kind, Linda. Thank you so much. I will be in touch and we will do that coffee. Is that everything now before I move on to the bit you're all gagging for me to do? And that's my gold hawk road haul. That's quite hard to say. I had a fabulous time. We, I went to my sister's Monday. Wednesday we went to into to stay in London. That place is so expensive. Four pounds seventy five for a Greg's pasty. Come on, I mean that was Leicester Square, but I refused to pay it. I thought no, and they're two pounds seventy five. Even in the airport, they're cheaper. In the airport, Newcastle Airport, they're cheaper than they are in Leicester Square in London. Couldn't believe that. That's daylight robbery. The one shooting. Came back completely depleted of funds. <laughs> Actually, Goldhawk Road, well, apart from one place we went into, they weren't that bad with prices. I I got into my, the swing of it. I went into a shop. I don't know if anybody remembers my blouse I've got with the tiny little pineapples on. I was wearing that. And I went into this shop, which was classic textiles, which is where I spent all my money, to be honest. Because as I went in the shop, there was a roll of this material, the blue lines with the little yellow pineapples on and the guy came out because he saw me like tugging on this roll to show my sister and he says oh that and I showed him my blouse I says well I've got it on I says how much is that a meter and I think he said eight pounds and I think I paid 7.95 in boys for it um so I thought well yeah this is a reasonably priced shop they're not charging London prices just because they're on the gold hawk road they're not they're not being stupid with the prices because that's roughly what I paid in boys um or I think it is anyway it might have been a little bit cheaper but not that much cheaper I don't think um so I thought yeah we'll go in here and that's where I spent all my money and I've got a little bit of footage so I'll put that in so here's your footage <laughs> Yeah. Can I have a uh, this is with linear viscous mix. Yes. Yeah. yeah, 950 meter, 2 meter, 2 meter total, 4 meter. 950, yes. But also this upstairs as well. Let's start. Uh, Madame, if you need any help, let me know. I'll leave, you, you will start. Yeah, I'll put it. And, and then I'll pass you one by one. Yeah. Okay, come. Yeah. Okay. If you need help, call me. I'm here to help you. All right. Thanks, love. Thank you. I should leave the, leave the side salad.
finishing this shape anyway. Get, I'll just get Vera set up because what I'm going to do is what I did the last time and I'm going to chuck my material over the top of Vera. Now a lot of the shops you go in on the Gold Hawk Road have um, cellophane packets with these, with sort of material already, like fabric already put into them. And I spotted this one and oh, it's beautiful. It's, I mean, there's all different colours in it. Um, they had this in another colourway as well. I think it was more pinky, I think. Um, I just saw this one first off. And this was three metres for £25. And I think... I've seen it somewhere else for eight ninety five a meter, so a little bit cheaper, not much cheaper, but I just loved it. Um, and I'm not really sure which way it goes. I don't think there's a so it's a cotton lawn designed by Fabric Freedom in London, England. So there we are. Well, where else is London but England? I'm sure there's one in Oz as well. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little bit of... I don't know if I'll pick you up. I don't know if you can see the gold in it. I thought it was very William Morris-esque. Um, very what do you have, art, art deco. And I really... I really, really like it. It's so soft. It's buttery soft. It's absolutely fabulous. So that is going to be a very nice blouse or top of some sort, I think. There's three metres. Could possibly get a dress out of it. 
but I don't want anything too fussy with pin tucks and stuff like that because I don't want it to inf interfere with the print because I think the print makes it and it's just lovely. And then another one of the cellophane bags I got, this is also another cotton lawn by uh, Fabric Freedom and this was £10 for three metres. So that would have just been rude. Just been rude not to have bought this. But isn't that the most, it's just like summer on a fabric, I think. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, sorry about the state of these. They've been crumpled up under a bag of, a great big pile, I should say, of ironing. Um, so yeah, so really sorry about that. But let's, let's get that. Ooh, don't want to make you sick. So there we go. That's um, fabric number two. Which, yeah, for £10 for three metres, I just thought, go for it. By this time, I had spent quite a bit of money, so £10 was looking really good. <laughs> so, that was that. Then I got two linens. First one is this gorgeous cerise pink, dark pink. I think these are going to be uh, three quarter length trousers for the summer. So that's definitely what I'm going to use this one for anyway. For me, I have blouses this colour already, so I don't need another blouse in that colour. I think some Sophia pants in that, possibly. And um, I got this to make my sister a pair and she just kept going, eh, eh. so I don't even know if she wants a pair really. Um, we'll have to, we'll have to ask her if she wants a pair of trousers out of this. But this, this is the colour my sister goes for every single time she looks at something, whether it's wallpaper or planters for the garden or whatever. She absolutely loves this sort of rusty orangey colour, and it really goes with her colouring. To be fair, but that is, I think it's a viscose linen. It's oh, it's lovely, it's so soft, and actually for a linen, it's not freeing a great deal. I've it's been chucked about and as you can see it's creased to smithereens because it's been in a suitcase at me um at my sister's while i was there and then in a pile of ironing <laughs> so that's my two viscose linens yeah i'm not going to bother folding them away and this one is a modal which is actually the first one I bought when I went in the place. I saw it straight away and I thought, oh, that will make a dress for Christmas. As if I don't have enough dresses that I haven't worn for Christmas already. But uh, yeah, look at that. It's got a lovely... So I've got three metres of this, I think. Um, lovely bit of Lurex running through it. But because it's that modal, it's smooth on the back. It's not going to feel itchy or clicky. Um, it's got a... Quite a nice bit of stretch, not that way, but that way. So crosswise stretch, yeah. And good recovery as well by the look of it, which all these models seem to have, they're really good. Um, and I really, really like that. So that is going to be something made up for Christmas or for going out in the winter, I think. Um, not really a summer fabric at all, but I think I've got enough of them to be going on with. And then, this is, and then my final, final bit of fabric. I know, I was really good. Didn't go that. Um, it's like, a, I think you call this a plissé. And I thought this would make a nice skirt, going out-out skirt, um, that you could pair it with like a, a nice black top or something or even a three quarter length or a full length pair of pants for going out but because it's so thin you could get away with this on holiday I think I don't think that's going to be too warm at all I don't know if you can see how thin that material is but because it's got the sheen to it I think if you had fleshy coloured underwear that would be absolutely fine to wear as a skirt or even like a bit of a slip, no, quarter length. What am I trying to say? 
a skirt, slip skirt. Yeah, so that's it there. And it's all lurexy and it's lovely. Um, and I've got two metres of that. So quite excited to get that made up into something as well. So there you are. Um, I was very restrained. I could have gone absolutely balmy. I'll put, like I say, I'll, I'll put that um, footage in already, but I'm going to put some photographs in now of, we went into a play, we didn't realise we we're going into somewhere called the House of Silk. So we didn't realise it was a silk shop. And I walked in and um, saw this fantastic geometric print, dark green, I know, dark green and black, I think it was, not navy. Um, I put a photograph in absolutely fell in love with it asked the guy how much it was and i think that one was 65 pound a meter <laughs> it was a good job i had a hold of my keys because i would have been away off the floor and then we asked something else another thing that was in oh that's 75 pound a meter and I thought, oh there's a there's a theme here and he says it's silk it's silk and then he handed his card house of silk silly billy's walking into a silk shop but oh could have gone mad in there. There were some gorgeous ones. Um, there was a, there was another silk, which I'll put in there, but this was in a different shop. And um, I was actually, when I was looking at it, I was looking at the back of it. Um, and I preferred the back to the front. It was paler colours, but I've taken a photograph anyway of the front of it, as you'll see. And that was another silk, so that was £65 a metre. So... The thing about the Gold Hawk Road is you go into each shop and uh, at the top at one side is a shop called Nissan West, which everybody said was very expensive. But to be honest, you went in and it had all the prices on them. So it had from £5 a metre, £10, 15 20 whatever, and went up. The prices were on everything and it was set out so beautifully. Um, you felt like you, you were somewhere expensive more than it was somewhere expensive. Um, yeah, I, I saw a lot of things in there that I could have quite easily gone back to if I hadn't stuffed my case full by this point because the case was really heavy with all of that fabric in it. The rest of the places on the Gold Hawk Road the place I visited included, although that had a lot of material like on bolts as well, didn't have prices on things or very few things had prices on. And it was so annoying to have to keep asking. And I think Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door in our live chat, um, I've just watched it this morning at about half past four this morning when I was up and I couldn't sleep, said it's really annoying when somebody comes into the shop and they've got to say how much is this and how much is this and how much is this and yeah I totally get that but the other thing was as well um you know if the material's on a bolt write the price on the end for goodness sake I don't know whether they do that to encourage you to speak to them and then they've got you and they try and find out what you want and you know and then they just get in your face and it that's quite annoying quite off-putting and I said to my sister straight away well if they come if they come up and get in my face and they're trying the hard sell I'm, I'm out of there I don't care what price the fabric is if it's dirt cheap or not I, I can't be doing with that and actually none of them were too too bad for that like I see this guy came out because he saw me trying to wrestle with this roll of fabric but he was lovely he couldn't have been nicer and I asked him if I could do a bit of filming and he said, oh, yes, that's that's no problem. Just ask my boss upstairs. Um, and so I did do a bit of filming and that bit of film I put in, I'll show you a load of um, rolls of fabric. Now, they were Lady McElroy and oh, Lady McElroy. I don't know how you say it. And sorry, chemo cheeks are suddenly getting very hot. Um, I, yeah. I couldn't get to them to have a look at the fabric. There's one at the end, a bluey fabric, and I sort of pulled it out a bit, and that was lovely. And I think they ran about thirteen fifty. I think I asked the guys that were upstairs because it was three floors this shop. Um, so we spent most of our time in that shop, to be honest. 
Um, but I asked the guys that were upstairs and I think they said 13.50 a metre. And I, at the time I'd spent quite a bit <laughs> and I was thinking, ooh, I, I really want to make a dress. That's one that's like four metres. So that's, yeah, times 13.50. And I was trying to do the sums in my head. And then that's when I went down and I saw the William Morris. So cancelled out all thoughts of going back upstairs to the uh, expensive fabric anyway or expensive for me anyway it's not expensive for some people I get that but yeah the, the fact that they were on rolls as well and they were stacked like they were um and this shop had them on bolts like I say there was only a few rolls put like that and where I bought the linen downstairs they were on rolls but they had the tickets on the top with the price on so I could see how much they were a meter so that was a, that was a lot better and they were only where I bought my linen they were only about three or four deep so you could sort of look through them and they were in big square bins so you could pull them around they weren't all stacked against the wall like the Lady McElroy ones were which was a real shame because I feel they would do far better having those in the bins and having the linens all stacked together because you know one linen's going to feel very much like another whereas Lady McElroy was there's so many different patterns rather than planes you need to be able to see them and pull them out but oh, there was some gorgeous gorgeous fabric in that shop um i could have spent thousands literally i could have um but we had to draw the line i had to carry it back to leicester square on the tube there's quite a lot of tube changes and stuff and those stairs in london tubes i'm sorry they're not meant to be dragging a little somebody had said they'd take an airport kick like an air flight case with them on wheels which i did but i think what would be better is like a collapsible granny trolley you know the ones with the great big plastic wheels on the bottom that you could have bounced up the stairs in the tubes because i had to pick this case up every time hope you like the fabrics um if you've got any ideas what you would make with them let me know that would be very kind of you um thank you again to linda and thank you again to all my new subscribers. Um, I'm getting on for 40 minutes now and that's far too long for a vlog. But I'm sure there'll be loads of airs and ums that I need to take out. And that'll be at least two or three minutes if I'm up to my usual air and um quota. Um, I think, yeah, I've covered everything I wanted to, I wanted to talk about. Oh, the only other thing I want to talk about is my lovely friend Vicky, who supplies me with quite a lot of fabric when I go to a sewn on time. A sewn in time. Honestly, get it right, woman. Has started a new channel, so I want to give a big shout out to Vicky. She is the fibro sewist. She is now on YouTube, so please look her up. I'll put her in the links below. And she's just starting out, and she is not only a fabulous sewer she's a fabulous artist if you check out her channel i'm sure she'll have her instagram on there as well and she does all these absolutely gorgeous drawings of, of little mice and, and things that she used to have her own business and she is such a good artist not only a great sewist some of the things she's made are fab and she always knocks us out as we all do criticizes herself but um yeah no she absolutely fantastic talented talented lady um and oh, there we go and that's something you'll hear on her vlogs as well because she has four dogs oh, there's his mother just to join in right i'm going to go and separate my dogs um i hope you've enjoyed if you have please give me a thumbs up please give me a like and if you haven't already please subscribe um, I'll leave you in peace now. By the time you get this, I'll be in sea houses, hopefully sewing or out in the sun. <laughs> um, or, yeah, just walking on the beach with the dogs. So if you're up that way, up the Northumberland coast, keep an eye out. And that'll be me. Probably soaking wet and covered in sand. Take care, everybody. And I'll see you all soon. Bye now. Hello, this is just an add-on. I've just finished filming. And I've done this three times now. I forgot to mention my Jars and Wow earrings, which um, Bex from uh, What Bex Sews makes these, makes jewellery and pattern weights. And she has a shop on Etsy. I'm sure everybody's heard about it. 
but I think I've worn her earrings on the last three vlogs and forgot to mention them and I thought I'm not going to miss it again. So this is an extra little bit under that huge vlog I've just put up. Yeah, I just thought I'd pop back on and I'll put the link below as well for Bex's shop on Etsy. I'm really, really chuffed with them. I got a green pair of like flowery ones and I got some pink hearts as well. I got them before Christmas and I've just never got around to mentioning them. So um, thank you, Becky. They're lovely. I love them. So once again, sorry about this. A little bit extra. Take care, everybody. Uh, see you soon. Bye now.